Hello everyone! Something different with this video. As you know, I've spent every other month since making my Silent Hill 3 commentary, assembling a game, and today I'm announcing that I've completed one. But it's not the game I set out to make, nor is it the final release. See, during development I hit a massive snack in that I wound up with three or so distinct and mutually exclusive ways to assemble the game, and instead of picking which to use, which was just impossible because I loved them all so much, I thought, why don't I build a smaller game, utilize each philosophy on a smaller scale, release it for people to play, see what they like, and then go with that. And that's the game I'm releasing with this video. It's called Snail. And it's a short Zelda-esque adventure title which sees you cast in the shoes of a young boy having to uncover the horrifying secrets of a cursed swamp. It is available on itch.io, linked below, and it is absolutely 100% free. All I ask for is your feedback, if you want to give it. See, one day, I want to become a great game designer, but the price point for entry, as it is for any creative endeavor, is being open to being bad at it when you start. See my earliest videos on YouTube, for example. It took making many over a long time engaging your feedback to understand what worked. I'm not gonna tell you which design philosophies there are, because I think it might blind you from experiencing the game on your own, but I will say something right now which I hope you take with you, and I'm not saying this to be too cool for school. Temper any expectations you might have, and keep in mind that this game is assembled from debug test objects and is severely lacking polish. Everything you'll see was made ready for testing reasons. None of it was made ready for release. There is no component of the game which I'm not gonna redo, give a facelift to, or outright cut if it doesn't work. It's so basic that the dialogue system I'm gonna have isn't even in the game yet. The one you'll interact with is the tutorial one friendly cosmonaut has on her channel. And the movement is still not collision perfected, so I included a debug in the arrow keys in case you ever get stuck in a wall. If the game just crashes or if there's a dead end you can't escape from, I'm very sorry, but it comes with the territory of being my first release. I've playtested it a lot, and I think I caught every major bug, but, you know, the internet has a way of making confident people look like idiots, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say I caught everything. Uh, like I said, I'm not trying to be too cool for school by saying this. I'm not saying, hey, oh, you didn't like it? Well, I wasn't even trying. Um, this is built from test objects and codes, but I did put a lot of love into it. That being said, don't be afraid of being brutally honest with your feedback. I want my final game to be the best version of itself that it can be, and I'd rather not spend a year or so building a game on flimsy foundations. Before I finish this video, I want to talk to you about the creative process of making these videos for the past few years. The first thing you discover whenever you try your hand at something new is whether or not you enjoy doing it. Then, you'll discover exactly what parts you enjoy doing more than others. And when you start opening up to others, when you upload your videos and allow for audience feedback, you'll learn what other people appreciate and dislike. This is the Venn diagram of the creative field, and maximizing your success, I believe, is in honing in on the intersection of the two circles. Making what you love for people who love it. A frequent occurrence is that someone will release a passion project only to be shredded by critics and they'll feel unjustly attacked. Often that's a very legitimate feeling, by the way. It's all too frequent for people to bring unreasonable expectations to a work and to not let the work speak on its own terms. The standard matters, and when there is a disconnect from audience and creator, very often things can get heated. I believe in making the things you love because you love making them, but if you want to make them for an audience, it behooves you to actually listen to the audience when they tell you, I, I don't like this. Listening to feedback is what I believe has made me good at producing videos, and 
I don't say that to congratulate myself, but because I still have my first videos on the channel and anyone can compare and contrast them to my latest output and see that there's genuinely been uh, some creative growth here. I love feedback, positive and negative. I also have a dream to become a full-time game designer and even more specifically I'd like to have a game award trophy before 2030. And it's in the interest of growing as a game designer that I'm inviting all of you to play my first released game. I want to hear everything you have to say on Snail. What you liked, what you disliked, the whole thing. Because I want to know what of the things I enjoy about the craft resonates with you and what doesn't. Finally, again, keep this in mind. Literally every part of the game you're about to play is on the chopping block. There's nothing sacred. I haven't built a final game outside of some concept sketches, so it's all open to fixing if enough people aren't uh, enjoying something. Thank you for watching this video. The link to the game is in the description box below. I hope to hear from everyone soon. You can contact me literally everywhere. You can comment here, you can email me, message me on Twitter, message me on Patreon, and I'll 100% read what you send me because I'm so anxious to have my tunnel vision on the game broken. Special thanks to Wade Jose for writing the beautiful, beautiful music, and to Francis Colombe for creating the cover art. Both artists are linked below. Until I hear your feedback on the game, Take care.